Hello, my name is Barbara Westman. I teach in the art department at Slope Rock University. I teach printmaking and fiber art. I'm also assistant to the dean in College of Liberal Arts. Slope Rock University is located about an hour north of Pittsburgh in Pennsylvania. And uh, it is a small town. We have almost 9,000 students on campus every day. There's a lot of buildings that house different departments. But there are also buildings that are dedicated to students and their activities. We have a section that has uh, dorms um, where students live. But today I would like to talk to you a little bit about um, my department, the art department, and to share with you what we offer our students. What you can see on this slide is um, just three images showing the campus. The old part on the first image, uh, we call this building Old Main. The middle section, the middle picture is the um, section with uh, our fairly new dorms where students live. And the third image shows you um, the student center where a lot of student activities take place. Right now, I would like to move to um, information about our programs and what we offer to our students um, here in the art department. So first of all, we have majors and we have minors. Majors, we have Bachelor of Fine Arts. You can see that one being listed first. It is a BFA, we call it, Bachelor of Fine Arts. And students can pick up their concentration. They can choose one or two concentrations in all major studio areas, such as photography, printmaking, drawing, painting, fiber art, sculpture, ceramics, digital media, graphic design, and metalsmithing. We also offer Bachelor of Fine Arts with concentration in art teacher preparation. So that's a program that is specific for those who would like to become art teachers. We also have um, concentration in psychology, which is um, specifically for the students interested in a career in art therapy. Um, this concentration prepares them for a grad school and graduate program in art therapy. We also offer Bachelor of Art, the BA program, which is a little bit shorter than the BFA. BFA is a longer program, more credits are involved, and it's a longer professional program. And Bachelor of Arts, the BA program, is more of a liberal studies program. And uh, we always suggest to our students that perhaps when taking BA major, you should also pair it up with uh, a different minor or uh, perhaps another major. Talking about minors, we have minor in art, minor in art history, minor in art for elementary education majors. Again, that major is specific for students who are in education program. Graphic design track for communication majors. So if you are a communication major student here on campus, you can take our graphic design track. Minor in communication for art majors is designed for our students, our art majors, to take it at the uh, communication department. Minor in nonprofit management in art is a new minor, and it's coming this fall, fall 2020, and will be available to students um, who are interested in working in nonprofit um, sector. This is a pretty big employer here in Pennsylvania, and a lot of our alumni. Um, work for nonprofit organizations. I would like to share a little bit of information about studios so you have a better understanding of um, what we offer to our students. So you also see a little bit of um, images of our facilities. So let's start with the Sculpture Studio. Sculpture Studio is actually a separate building. Um, it's a fairly new building, five or maybe six years old, years old building, and it is very well designed to meet our students' needs. It's very well equipped, offering students a variety of machines and processes that they can learn how to use, how to apply in their art creation. So this building is divided into three sections, three general sections. One is a wood shop, and you can see that in the, on the image in the bottom right. And it's just a small part of that big room. 
And on the left, the image shows you um, the other section of the, uh, the studio that focuses on metal work. And again, like I said, it's a fairly new building, well equipped, um, and the students really enjoy um, access to um, the studio and they create really interesting works there. The printmaking studio is housed in our main art building. The main art building um, is, um, is an older building, uh, but houses quite a few studios here. And also that includes a uh, main art office. So if you ever come to visit, if you would like to meet with the department chair and our secretary, you will find them in this building. But going back to the studios, uh, the printmaking studio is, uh, is a space where students learn different printmaking techniques. It is my area. So let me tell you that um, we start oftentimes with monotypes and monoprints. We move, move on to uh, linocut. We also um, work with etching process and protoplate lithography. You can see here these two pictures with students at work. We have three presses here and we can see that students are engaged in uh, creating pink prints. Photography studio. Professor Miguel teaches photography and um, she um, introduced digital photography some time ago, but she never gave up on darkroom photography. And this is what draws a lot of students to our art department because we offer both. Um, a lot of students these days are interested in learning about um, black and white photography, learning the whole process of developing film and photographs. And of course, that is available to them. So when you come to a photography studio, you'll realize that the majority of that space is basically a dark room uh, where students spend quite some time learning and developing their films. Meanwhile, Professor Nickel also uh, uses um, the um, computer lab where digital photography is addressed. Painting studio, it's a fairly large space. Uh, Professor Hurdle teaches painting, in most cases, all levels of painting. And um, the studio houses um, students working on their individual um, ideas and projects, but also basic um, painting is addressed here as well. You're looking at um, two images of the uh, larger studio, but also there is another room that is dedicated to uh, students who are already working on a senior project um, in painting. They work separately, so they feel comfortable uh, working in their own time. Metal Smithing Studio is located in a separate building nearby. And you can see here two pictures showing you uh, the room. Um, this building actually is divided into a few rooms at um, three different levels and different techniques are addressed in um, these spaces. Just briefly to mention to you, Metal Smithing is um, basically uh, working with metal, creating small sculptural forms that also includes uh, jewelry design and jewelry making. And the techniques that are taught here are lost wax casting, sheet metal fabrication, texture through etching and hammering, hammer forming, forging, enameling, um, stone setting, filigree, and, and more. Fiber Art Studio. Um, that's again my area, my studio. Um, I teach students about different materials. We focus on flexible materials because that's what contemporary fiber is all about. We work with textiles, we work with paper, we also make our own paper. We work with dyes, synthetic and natural dyes. But we also include a lot of other materials that fall in the category of flexible materials. So our projects will also include surface design um, on textiles. We'll also include working with um, books and paper, altered books, um, and felting, uh, batik, and many more um, projects that we introduce here um, during the semester. We also have 
um, collaboration with the School of Poland currently, and we uh, work on collaborative international projects every semester. Drawing Studio is a large room, as you can see on these pictures, and uh, you can see there's a lot of easels and students at work. Drawing is a very important part of all our programs. This is also one of the uh, uh, required courses that students have to take, basic drawing. And uh, you can see um, on the bottom picture that there is a model um, sitting for the students. So depending on who teaches um, drawing um, that particular semester, obviously the program might be slightly different, but we always stress um, model, so drawing um, the figure, also um, drawing the uh, still life and other assignments uh, where students can improve their observation and drawing skills. As I mentioned to you, drawing is very important foundation of art uh, program. Digital Media Studio, that's a studio where students work on computers. You can see here that students are working on Macs. They're always the latest version, so is the software. And when it comes to digital media, what is taught here, what applications are taught here, mainly um, software from um, Adobe uh, Creative Cloud. So we'll see Photoshop, Illustrator, Premiere, and also 3D modeling, Strata 3D CX is what um, Professor Shamway uses to, to teach students. So this, this, pro, this uh, studio offers students a variety of um, time-based um, uh, projects. Graphic Design Studio um, is a studio that focuses on two-dimensional design, but that design can also be applied in, for example, package design. So from package design to illustration of magazine layouts, book illustrations, book covers, magazine layouts, there's a whole variety of um, graphic design concepts that can be applied. And um, here we have, again, Creative Cloud that is utilized. So in design, Photoshop and Illustrator are stressed. Ceramic Studio, uh, that's a large space. You can see it here, although this, the pictures don't really fully show um, the studio. We have um, wheels that students work, work at every day. There's a separate room dedicated to glazing. Students learn how to make their own glazes. And there's, of course, separate area where kilns are located. So also students learn how to fire uh, their works. And I just want to mention to you that hand building is stressed. So coil, soft slab, hard slab, um, sculptural pieces are created here. Uh, wood throwing, of course, glazing and um, clay painting techniques, and also 3D printing uh, with clay is addressed here. How about some student work? So I have a selection of images I would like to share with you, just so you get an idea of what works students have produced in our studios over the years. So I'll just um, go through these slides and maybe say a few words about student work. So this was one of the uh, projects in the Piper Art Studio altered book. It's a sculptural project. Metal smithing, you can see this is a brush. Uh, really nice design, but you can see again how this was formed. Painting, ceramics, you can see glazing here. Photography, black and white photography. Digital image. This is printmaking, etching. Painting again, figure painting, sculpture, drawing with charcoal, fiber art piece with uh, handmade paper, paper pulp. This is again a digital image, three dimensional small form that was created in our 3D design class. Some outdoor work. In my fiber art class, every fall, 
one of our project addresses outdoor work and here we're looking at um, handmade banners that my students created and sculptural piece um, felting that was produced in my by the art class photography again three-dimensional sculptural piece metal smithing it's a wearable necklace piece printmaking this is again dyeing so as i mentioned to you dyeing is addressed in fiber art studio ceramic set it's a brush designed by a student and made by a student in metal smithing studio painting photography silk painting metal smithing painting etching from the printmaking studio a photography jewelry design printmaking it's a lima cup painting again a painting and uh, printmaking again it's a lima cut metal smithing it's a brush sculpture and sculpture printmaking etching five art piece metal smithing metal smithing graphic design metal smithing graphic design visual media and I, if I remember correctly this is just a still from from an animation metal smithing it's a necklace printmaking sculpture silk painting an outdoor site specific sculpture a painting fiber art felting printmaking metal smithing print it's a wearable ring from metal smithing studio felting wood painting again print sculpture and painting the sculptural piece from three-dimensional design class photography you can see that here it's combined photography is combined with a topic 3d small scale sculpture model we're making so this was just a small selection of artworks that our students produced over time in our um our department in different studios one thing that i would like to mention to you that our bachelor of fine arts program ends with a senior project senior project is prepared by a student uh, who is finishing their program and uh, this capstone course requires students to work throughout the whole semester on a project and then display it in the gallery one thing that I would like to mention to you is that we have two galleries on campus. One is our professional gallery called Marfa Gallery Art Gallery. That's where usually the uh, senior projects are presented um, at the end of the semester. So in December, late November, December, and late April and May. And uh, we also have um, student run gallery. This gallery is under the supervision of a group of students and they uh, manage uh, the program and uh, exhibition. But going back to the senior shows, this is a very important moment for majority of our students and students who are in the BFA program because this semester spent on working on their senior project is, is a culmination of their education in the art department. Uh, you can see here on this photo that we have student works displayed on walls and also on pedestals because it was a group of two or perhaps three students presenting together. We always um, have a very nice opening reception that night. A lot of people come, other students, other faculty, friends and family. So it's a big event and a very important event for 
our students. They prepared for it whole semester. Here's a couple of other images from the student um, Bachelor of Fine Arts exhibitions. You can see it here, different shows. One thing that I want to mention to you is that our university uh, gives students a lot of opportunities um, to share their research with other students, their achievements with other students. One of the venues is Student Symposium for Research Scholarship and Creative Achievement. And this is an opportunity where students from all disciplines, from all majors, can present their research results. This is an annual event every year in April. And um, we have oral presentations, poster presentations, and exhibition presentations. And a lot of our students in the art department also participate in this event. Because although when we think about research, we probably think about science majors, research is also present in the art field. And we encourage students to do that. We encourage students to seek more information and to conduct their own research. It really helps with their growth. So here you can see a couple of images. The bottom right will show you small displays of our art students, in this case, smaller three-dimensional objects that are uh, displayed on tables, but we also have it in a, have, um, our students displaying their works um, on walls as an exhibition. Um, talking about research, we also um, encourage students to participate in national, regional, and national conferences on undergraduate, on undergraduate research. I had an opportunity to take five of my students in the past couple of years to a national, large national conference on undergraduate research. Um, it's called ENCUR, and it happens in different locations every year. Uh, students submit their abstract and if they're accepted, they will present to a larger audience. Um, and we're quite successful with that. But again, this is a great opportunity for our students. We also have some um, um, good relationship with the uh, galleries in the area here. One of those galleries would be a bottle brush gallery in Harmony, PA, where students exhibit their works off campus. It's a great experience for a student to um, prepare an exhibition, to display, to create a whole PR for that um, exhibition. Um, so we always encourage students to seek opportunities to schedule an exhibition or perhaps to even find a new location, different location for their exhibition. It's always a good um, experience. I also open opportunities or create opportunities for students to exhibit overseas abroad. Uh, I'm originally from Poland and um, I created um, an, a, a collaboration between my fiber art studio and um, similar studio in Poland. So once a year we exhibit my student works, would be Polish student works, in different galleries in Poland. And then I bring it here and share it with everybody on campus as a separate exhibition. So again, this sort of international opportunity is a really good one. Uh, it's a great resume builder, but it's also a very good uh, way of looking at what our peers overseas create. And that um, closes my presentation about our art department. We strongly encourage um, students who are interested in uh, studying here with us to um, get in touch with us. Again, my name is Barbara Westman. Uh, my email address is barbara.westman at sru.edu. You can also find, it, find us on the website www.sru.edu slash art. You will be able to read more information about our programs, our opportunities. We also, you will also be able to um, find all faculty and our bios there um, if you're interested in reading about us. But we, again, strongly encourage uh, you to visit us, to, to join us and uh, spend with us at least one semester. We have, uh, uh, we're always uh, very happy to have students from other countries um, come and study with our students because 
I strongly see um, this sort of international connection as a really good and beneficial way of learning for our students. We all learn from each other. And I always tell my students that learning doesn't always happen only in a classroom or in a studio. It also happens um, outside. So by um, having hosting you here, our students will definitely benefit from us, but at the same time, we'll um, also offer our opportunities here in our department to you. So you will have an opportunity to um, create your artworks in a different, at a different um, university with different faculty, and we hope you're gonna grow. But um, anyway, so if you have any other additional questions, I'll be happy to answer it. Um, if you would like to get in touch with me or with anyone else, I would be happy to assist you. Thank you so much. And again, I hope to hear from you and I hope to see you someday here on our campus. Thank you. Bye-bye.